the previous episode, we have seen the two constituent elements, the Wu and Wen, the Kung Fu and Chan are inseparable parts of one composite culture. Now, we have to question ourselves, what were the objectives or objective of Shaolin monks when they enter into a monastery? With what intention do they enter and undertake these practices? A rudimentary study betrays the fact that all this fighting Shaolin monks entered Shaolin monastery with an objective of cultivating the mind. Several other monks took the route of exclusive Chan path to attain the mind culture. But whereas this fighting monks to whom we call it as martial monks within Shaolin monastery, they have taken this dual elements of Wu and Wen to cultivate the mind, to pacify the mind, to tranquilize the mind, to attain an undivided, unified, non-dualistic state of mind, to attain no mind state, which is called as Mu. Further to reach the other shore and to attain enlightenment and further Nirvana. We can say that this element of Kung Fu or a fighting element or this element of Wu appears as a small wave, an endless vast ocean of this Chan or a Zen or the mind culture. Right from the ancient times to the contemporary, the highest priority is given in the Shaolin to the mind. Nothing above mind. The mind only culture. In fact, you may surprise to notice that the Kung Fu is used for the Chan, but not other way around, which is a well-established fact. Therefore, in conclusion, we can say that the primary objective of a martial monk who enters into Shaolin monasteries to cultivate the mind and the fighting is a secondary objective.